Early this year, the water levels of Lake Victoria started rising, causing flooding at the lake shores. This left a number of homes, beaches and other premises on water submerged. This was followed by a large mass of floating vegetation said to have been detached from the mainland. At Port Bell, Luzira is a 100-hectare floating vegetation said to have hovered from Kajera. At the shores are also a number of houses and beaches submerged in waters on formerly dry land but currently colonized by the swelling lake. It's growing from the shores of the lake, the lake but when it is rain, too much rain, there is too much rain. So the wind came and blew it and bring it to in the, into the lake. The challenge is not confined to Port Bell alone. Other areas have also been affected. The floating islands have also invaded Sango B in Chotera, Bunjako in Impiji and Nalubale Dam. During a field visit last week, the Minister of Environment inspected the affected places to assess the impact of the rising waters of the water bodies. The ministry established that a number of people had invaded the catchment areas, leaving no breathing space. The ministry, however, asked all those settled in the catchment areas to exit without compensation. Uh, illegal structures. They are in the water, in our lake shores, and they were not sanctioned by NEMA. But people don't listen. This was contested by many of the affected people. On Tuesday this week, Minister of Environment and other line agencies launched the demolition works of the vegetation at Port Bell. The works are being done by Uganda Egypt Aquatic Weed Control Project. We have been receiving a lot of rain for Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria has got only one outlet. So water coming from Rwanda, coming from Tanzania, coming from Kenya, all powers in Lake Victoria. And the only way it can come out, come out is through the River Nile. The, the dam is trying to release as much water as it can. But maybe it is not enough. That's why water is spreading and going to people's homes. Apart from posing a danger to aquatic life, the floating vegetation is a danger to water transport. Demolition of such floating islands started in 2000 and is being implemented in phases. We were normally given two, three years. This time we have been given one year because we don't think that... Uh, this one can take a long time to be removed, and uh, our project it covers the whole of Uganda. According to engineer Umaru Wada, the rising water levels were caused by frequent rains, contrary to the said vegetation. People also invaded the areas of the lake, that is the wetlands. The wetlands have been invaded by the people, they have built houses, they have grown uh, their agricultural products. Susan Naong and Sana Annette reporting for ABC TV.